Story of Place has been a project commissioned by Wars End Children's Community and it's involved three partner schools near Wars End at Carville Primary, Western Community Primary and Beacon Hill Sixth Form. And what we've been doing is working with an artist in residence to give children the space and time to think about the past couple of years and their experience of the pandemic. We wanted them to develop story gathering skills to improve their ability to think about, reflect and share on what had happened to them and also celebrate some of the ways that they've shown that how resilient they've been and the way that they've adapted and the way that they've continued um, to uh, enjoy learning, playing, time with family and capture that because it's a really kind of historically significant time. I think it's had a, lockdown's had a big effect on them, but the, the good thing about this programme is focusing on positives. So there's a lot of things going on about their mental health and how damaged they've been through it. This is about what did you learn about yourself? What's your resilience? Has it improved? Um, it, it still will bring out some needs if there are some there, but it's also focusing on maybe some things that were good out of COVID. We like to say, like turning a frown upside down, just <laughs> seeing what's been good about it, what's been nice, what's been refreshing. Well, I think they always welcome uh, working for the people and, and to be working with an artist on a piece of artwork and not just the class teacher in the classroom. It, you know, it just broadens the scope and broadens aspirations in terms of actually, if I want to be that and if I want to do this later on in life, um, then I want to be able to do it. And knowing that their end product will be displayed, that they can then take their families and the community will see the work that they've done outside of school. Having art as a different medium gives them a way of expressing themselves in a way that they can't other lessons. So because they've got that platform to do that in, they can actually access learning in a different way, which for a lot of them they're finding very helpful and sort of very refreshing and very innovative. I think massively, and particularly for our students, a lot of our students live across the borough, so they don't live locally to the school. So it's enabling them to be a part of the wider community um, and engage with peers and other young people from other schools. Um, I know they're really looking forward to actually going to see their, their work in the museum, um, where there'll be other, lots of different people from lots of different areas, which would be great for them. It's something that they actually really listened and focused on developing their creativity skills, their listening skills, and even their communication skills. They were, they were, a majority of them were able to recreate what they did um, just by looking at what they had done previously and then expanding on their feelings and their thoughts, which was amazing to see. We got like a piece of paper and we like drawed like what we did in the lockdown. Then we got like the, the clay and we got them like like little like knives and little spoons and we were uh, what was on our paper put, we put on way. Yeah. Could you tell me about the sorts of things you made with Sue on our project? Well, uh, we we made it like we were using a pen and we were walking around the sheet and like like there was like like we made loads of lines and like used some tape. Uh, yeah, there and it is. And we marked places that that were special to us. Okay, so those different shapes of the different places. Can you remember any of those places? Yep. Yeah. Um, I think I I put a museum. A muse, a mu um, a place where you see <laughs> statues and stuff like that. We played had um, we done each other's drawings, what we done in the lock in lockdown, mm -hmm. and we done it on the plate. Did your lines move very much during the lockdown? Did you go lots of places? 
Well, we went well, to the park. Um, well, we made like, like a fun ball. Did you make anything else? Yes, we did. Well, well, we got like plates of soup, and mm-hmm. then she gave us little parts of um, paper, and she gave us scissors and stuff. And I made my cat raven. It sounds like you did lots and lots of things, and you learnt lots of things about people in your class. Was it good working with an artist? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What was good about it? That, that, that if you want to be an artist, you can follow what an artist done, so like you get better. My name's Susan Laughlin and I'm an artist and I've been working with um, Helix on the story of place residency. I'm a visual artist. I specialise in sculpture and painting and installation work. Children were really quite ready and willing to share uh, their experiences. We did a lot of group work and uh, paired work to enable a lot of those conversations to take place in a sort of a comfortable and easy way. We used a lot of drawing and mark making as a, a route in to thinking about our experiences of the pandemic. Um, and the children, though, uh, had experienced difficulty, uh, often reflected more on aspects that they had enjoyed. Um, for example, those long sunny days <laughs> during lockdown and time spent with family. And I was really amazed by their resilience and their adaptability and kind of how they, in many cases, had really sort of taken things in their stride. Through Story of Place, we've been privileged to hear some quite personal stories. We've worked with nearly a hundred young people over the past three months, and all of them have tales to tell. And we believe that's why Story of Place has been such an important project.